This video is an introduction into using Envision RV. To start off with, we're going to import a program by uploading it from the OCS. We'll start this by pushing the New Connection button right here. This presents us with a target dialog. In this case, we'll select a target name. We'll use the default of XLT since that's the model that we're connecting to here. The connection medium, we're using COM port number one attached directly to our PC. If we were using Ethernet, we would type the IP address here and set the Ethernet mode. GPRS mode is used when there is a cellular modem attached to the OCS you're connecting to. The NX-QX mode is used when you're connecting directly to the Ethernet that's built into the NX and QX controllers. And the XL series mode is used when you're connecting to an XLE or XLT with the Ethernet add-on option. The Connected Devices option allows how we're connecting to the OCS. In this case, we're directly connected, so we'll use the connected device. If we were connected with a C-Scan network, we would use the target ID to set the actual node ID. The final setting is the connection settings. This allows us to adjust our baud rate and change the timeout. Our one second timeout is fine for our direct connection. If we were using an indirect connection, such as over the internet or through a cellular modem, we would want to increase this. When I push OK, it's going to connect to the controller. Now that we're connected, it's prompting us to upload the graphics. If we say yes, it'll start the upload process. Now that all the graphics information is uploaded, we can save the file so we don't have to upload again. So if we go to File, Save Device File, we can select a name and click Save. This saves all the graphical information and any security settings that are modified in this session. So now that we're connected, we can interact with the OCS just if we were sitting right in front of it. The default is for asynchronous mode. This means that if we change screens, the actual OCS will not change screens. So if I switch to the demo page, I can go to the demo panel, and I can interact with this as if I were right there. So I can grab a slider and change the value and we'll notice that the value changes here. I can also push push buttons. There are several other options for navigating screens. I can go to the previous screen in a linear order, or I can go to the next screen using this button. I can also use the thumbnail view, which shows me all the screens, and I can select the exact screen I want to jump to. These screen navigation features can be turned off or on using the security settings. This dockable toolbar here can be undocked and moved around and allows me to simulate pushing function keys. So if I push F1, it simulates an F1 key being pushed to the controller. The other option for starting a program is to import a PGM file that's created by Seascape. So if I go to File, import PGM file. I can select the PGM file. It then imports all the graphics from that file, eliminating the lengthy upload. Then I can go and select my communication options by going to Tools, Communication Settings, and setting any settings that I need here. Once I push OK, it'll connect to the controller. You'll notice that the icon with the OCS with the cross through it goes away. If I were to disconnect from the controller, that icon comes back indicating that the controller is offline. This also indicates that any of the values on the OCS are stopped updating. Pushing reconnect will reconnect to the OCS and cause the indicator to go away. I can also use a zoom in zoom out button to change the view of the OCS on the screen. This allows me to fill the screen with my graphics or make it smaller so I can have multiple things on my desktop. For further help, Envision RV has an online help system that can be accessed under Help Contents. There's also a link to the web support. By pushing this, you'll be taken to the Envision RV web page. This will provide frequently asked questions, other documents, and access to our Envision help support staff. After Envision RV is installed, it will run for four days until it needs to be activated. To activate the software, go to Help, Licensing, and push Generate License Key. This will generate a number along with the serial number that you need to provide to Envision Support to activate the software. You will be provided with an unlock key that can be placed here. Once you unlock it, 
the software will be active and can be used on that PC. Thank you. It's new, it's affordably priced, and it's available now from Horner APG.